Hello people and welcome to my series on the heap data structure. Uh, heaps are a wonderful little data structure that I think are underrated uh, at least in scripting languages. A heap is simply a tree-like data structure where the child nodes have some ordering related to their parent node. And there are many variants of heaps uh, but the most common are the max heap and the min heap. So uh, this picture from Wikipedia is an example of a max heap. And uh, the way a max heap works is that uh, each node is larger than its children. So if you look at this, 100 is larger than 19, and it's also larger than 36. If we pick 36, it's also larger than all of its children. And that's a max heap. A min heap it just has the reverse relationship where every parent node is smaller than its children. And there is no special ordering left or right in a heap. And what makes heaps great is that it's very quick to insert values into a heap. It's also very uh, easy to get a minimum or maximum value out of a heap since if you have a max heap, getting the maximum value means you just take the top value off the heap. And uh, heaps are really great for things like priority queues, where if you have items that have different numbered priorities, it's really easy to take the top one off the, off the uh, top of the heap, and that one will have the top priority. It also is very efficient to insert into the heap. Uh, inserting into a heap is a uh, big O of, in, of log in operation. So uh, let's actually take a look at what our heap will look like when we implement it. So this will be our max heap, and it will have you know these these nodes in here. Another thing to notice about heaps is that whenever you add nodes, they're actually added in a certain order. So there will never be holes in our tree. So there will never be say a tree that. Um, looks like a like this uh, pentagram here and is missing like this this node right or or maybe missing whoops or maybe uh, missing this whoops maybe missing this node right there are never any holes which means that we can actually implement our heap with an array so let's take a look at this down here so this is the same tree, except we've labeled our nodes with the order uh, that they're represented in an array. So if we had an array, this, uh, the head of the tree would be um, element 0. This would be element 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And uh, implementing uh, a heap with an array is often you know, simpler or uh, more efficient to do. And it makes it very easy with an array to calculate the children and the parents. So if you want to calculate the child uh, of a node, like let's say, let's calculate the, uh, the child values of node 1. Well, all we have to do is multiply by 2 and add 1, and we get the left side. So we multiply 1 by 2 and add 1, we get 3. If we want to get uh, the right side node, we just multiply by 2 and add 2, and we get 4. And that works for any of these nodes. So if we want to get the right side of this, of this uh, origin node, we just multiply by 2 and add 1, and we get the left side. Multiply by 2 and add 2, we get the right side. And we can simply do the reverse to get the parent node. So if we wanted to get the parent of this 4 node, we just subtract 2 which would give us 2, and we divide by 2, and that gives us 1. Or if we are on the right side here, or the left side, with this 3 node, we subtract 1, and uh, divide by 2, and that gives us 1. Now the thing is, is uh, how do you know that if you're a left child or a right child? Well, if we uh, implement our tree like this, then uh, we, the left nodes will always be an odd number, and the right nodes of the tree will always be an even number. So that, that makes it very easy. You can use, use a modulus by 2, 
and you can tell whether you are a left or a right node. So let's go back up here, and this is what our uh, max heap is going to look like when we're done. And let's go ahead and start building our program uh, to implement this max heap. Now to start out, what we'll do is uh, we'll go to our, we're going to do this in the Go programming language, and uh, we're just going to go to our uh, our Go path, right? We're going to go to wherever we set up our Go um, workspace, and for mine, it's in programming, Go, source, and I created a folder of pbohan that holds all of my projects. So yours will probably be a different name. And let's just go ahead and make a directory called uh, heap. And we will change our directory to go inside the heap. And let's create a, um, let's see, let's create a folder, or actually, uh, how should we do this? Let's actually, let's uh, remove directory heap and actually make a directory called heap test. And we'll go inside heap test and we'll create, uh, make a directory called heap. And this is where we'll keep our heap Im implementation. And then we'll create a, a file to test it. We'll call it main.go. And let's start creating our package. So this will be main, we'll import, uh, let's see, let's import fumpt, and let's also import our, our heap. So we'll, it'll be heap test, heap. And we'll create a, a main function. And to test our, our heap, uh, data structure that we create. Let's create a heap, uh, heap dot heap, and then let's insert some values into it. So let's just randomly insert some of the values that we had over here. So let's uh, do an insert uh, 30, let's do h insert 20, h dot insert uh, 50, h dot insert uh, 12, h dot insert, whoops, insert 17, h dot insert uh, 70. Okay, and then let's do print. Let's let's print something out. Let's let's print uh, let's print our thing as a string. We'll end up creating a stringer for it. And then let's see what else should we test. Oh, let's do let's do a test where we look at the top value. So we'll do a print f, and uh, top value should be this number. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a, a heap of integers. So we'll just print an integer, and we'll do h dot top. And then let's see, what else should we do? Let's do, um, let's create a pop function for our heap so that way we, we can pop off the top uh, version or the top uh, value of our heap. And then let's do, uh, let's, print, let's print out the result of that. Let's actually do a print line and h.string. And that's, uh, I think that'll be good. And uh, th so this will be the program that we use to test our heap. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Next time, we'll actually go into developing the actual implementation of our heap. Uh, thanks for watching. Till next time.